that's the last time this year you'll have to hear the old outro. I just really like that, uh, the record scratch sound. So, uh, here's the new outro, and then we're gonna start, uh, you know, this week's episode. Welcome to Weekly Talk. Featuring Danny and Chris. All right, Danny, it's episode 25. Uh, what's up? Nothing, just hanging out. Nothing, just hanging out. Uh, so I don't know if you can tell, but your audio looks to be a little quieter than mine. Well, I guess not. I, maybe I was just screaming at the beginning. Yeah. Well, we are going to call Kara. Uh, she's going to be our very first guest of 2020. Uh, I've asked her to do something, uh, just to make you laugh, so I hope it does. Can you have any idea what that would be? It's probably dealing with her accent. Uh, it is definitely dealing with her accent. Uh, so I wanted to open this episode with, uh, a little quote from your mom. Well, I, I guess it's really an old quote, uh, that a lot of people have said to me, but recently your mom said it and it really like hit home. Uh, I was feuding with somebody on the Facebook Mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, I was doing it with our podcast page actually, (laughs) cause we don't have, you know, real Facebook pages. Right. And she thought it looked kind of, uh, unclassy, I think. Mm Mm-hmm. And she said that you shouldn't let anybody rent space in your mind. Uh, Oh, no, no, don't let somebody own property in your mind free of rent or something like that. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Uh, Like, pretty much, they're not paying to be in there, so don't let them be in there. Well, I mean, I've been telling you that, but not in that sort of terms, but whatever. It takes my mother to tell you how it is. I just feel like... uh, My mom is more wiser. No. No, I wouldn't say your mom's more wise. I would say she's got uh, more experience in life, I think. Uh, It's because she's my mom. Yeah, no, it's your mom's. (laughs) All right, so... (sighs) Shit. All right, so uh, one of our fans... Well, maybe not even fan. I don't think she'd actually ever listen to the podcast. But somebody who supports our podcast page on Twitter, uh, she has a kid named Jackson. Do you know who I'm talking about? Yes, I do. Um, that is me. Look at that. All right. Uh, so her and Danny and I were just debating about, like, on the screen, there's this little straight up and down vertical line for uh, the audio. And guess what that is? Well, I already know what it is. Everybody at uh, listening, guess what that is? All right. Did you guess? All right. So the up down line is when I go like this. Get the fuck. What the fuck? All right. <laughs> so, Jackson, he is a, I want to say he's 10. Yep. He is a 10-year-old boy. Uh, he actually went and seen MGK for the uh, Xmas show, uh, which is kind of cool. He was uh, in the pit uh, somewhere we were not because we bought somebody a ticket who didn't use it. Uh, but, well... <laughs> We'll go on. That has nothing to do with this. Uh, Mm -hmm. 10-year-old boy whose favorite color is red, but that changes quite frequently. And his birthday is actually the day after Christmas. All right? Mm -hmm. He feels lonely. Uh, He feels like because certain somebody in his life doesn't want to be a part of his life that he doesn't, he's not worthy of a father, I guess. Mm -hmm. And I don't have a dad either, dude. And I'm running what you might know to be the uh, the best unknown podcast in the world. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nah, dude. You you got a lot of people on Twitter who really, really admire you, uh, who think you're super freaking courageous. So don't worry about that, man. Uh, there's always going to be a question of why, and you're never going to really get the answer. So, you know, fuck it. Right, Dan? Well. Yeah, in the nicest way possible. Well, yeah, yeah. I mean, you listen to MGK. So I know. I know you know what these swear words. No, yeah. Definitely in in the nicest way possible. Do you? 
do you. You're a little 10-year-old f- fucking awesome kid who's about to own the world one day, you know? Uh, yeah, man, just try not to think about the shit. Uh, don't don't dwell on things you don't need to dwell on. Can't change, yeah. So with that being said, we want you to call us at 859-444-4641. And we want you to leave us a voicemail. We want you to tell us about you. And just so you know, your mother loves you way more than anyone could. Yeah, no doubt. No doubt. I don't know if... Well, I mean, I doubt that you're on Twitter a whole lot. Mm -hmm. But uh, if you could see some of the fights this girl gets in... Kind of crazy, mm-hmm. kind of crazy, but no, yeah, uh, yeah, call us, leave us a voicemail, tell us about who you are, what are you into, and you know, what's up, man, how you doing, hopefully good, mm-hmm. all right, uh, now we're gonna go ahead and call Kara Stevens, you ready, Danny, mm-hmm. you ready for our very first co-host of the year, I'm ready, are you, yeah, because I think you're talking shit, did you just hear that, did I hit a button? I don't know. All right. Six, one, seven, six, three. Nope, I can't say the rest. Can't say the rest, guys, because that wouldn't be right. All right, we are calling Kara. Keep in mind, what the fuck? Nope, don't disregard what the fuck. (laughs) Keep in mind, I did tell her we were calling her at 10. Hello? 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 Can you hear us? Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah. All right, so explain to everybody who you are. I am Kara, and I live in Boston, Massachusetts. All right, now, I told my wife that I was going to have you say something super funny for her, so I want you to say something super funny for her. Um, I guess I'll say the most Boston thing is I parked the car in Harvard Yard. All right, you don't have to, you don't have to feel, you know, on the spot no more. I was going to say, don't make her feel uncomfortable. (laughs) Well, you'll hear me say wicked a lot too, so. (laughs) How have you guys been? Oh, not bad, not bad. Uh, I found out later on that I think you and your daughter were sitting behind us at Xmas. How do you know? Because she posted that she was sitting behind us at Xmas. Oh. <laughs> that was a good giveaway. Woo. <laughs> um, yeah, we were in 207. Yeah, pretty much like right behind us then. We were in 107. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, right. yeah, because we were, we were row A, so we were like the very first row. Never going to do that again because I felt wicked happy for the people that were sitting behind us. Because, I mean, me and Kimmy especially were up and dancing and all that. And the people behind us were, like, kind of getting aggravated. <laughs> so, well, I mean, what do you go to a concert to do? That's what I said. Plus, at his concert. So, like, how are you sitting down, like, perfectly as if you're watching a movie? Right. That's. That was beyond me. I feel like she's quiet. Did, did you check your... Can you hear me? We can hear you. Chris is just being oh. picky right now. So it was at that very moment that Danny and I had known she was not loud enough, and we were spending the rest of the night doing what? Making her louder. Making her louder. Uh... And what was the what was that that you said? You said I was what nitpicking? Yeah, well you were right and I, I was, was wrong. Right. So she might appear to be loud enough to all of you guys, and that's only because I'm working my ass off to make it that way. Also, what else did we notice? We forgot. We forgot to mention that we went to see that 1917 movie. Yes, and 1917 it like swept the fucking Golden Globes. It was a very good movie. No doubt. Uh, what what I tell you? Uh, what, maybe maybe ten lines of dialogue in this two hour movie, but the uh, the action. It is just such a powerful emotional movie, and I uh, I advise that everybody here go see it. So there's that. Yep. You want to say anything else before we get back into editing? 
Sorry, Chris. No big deal. I love you. Mm-hmm. All right, whatever. All right, so we uh, typically go into Brittany Ask, so that's what we'll do now. Hey, Danny. Hey, Chris. This is my weekly question with you guys, and I procrastinated on it. But um, I wanted to give a big shout-out to the person that I got my question from. It's from Shelly. So at Xmas, Shelly was given, like, question ideas here and there. So she gave me this question, duh. But she said, what was y'all's biggest pet peeve? So that's it. That's the question. I can't wait to hear what y'all say. I hope y'all have a good week. Bye, Danny. Bye, Chris. All right, now that you've introduced yourself, go ahead and give your answer for what your biggest pet peeve would be. My biggest pet peeve, oh, man, I have kind of a lot, but I feel like they're all, like, wicked weird ones. Like, I, I don't, I feel like I'm, a, like, a hypocrite for saying it, is when People are, like, repeating the same story to me. Like, if I had just had a conversation with you on the phone and then I see you in person, which a bunch of my friends do this, and I swear it's just to aggravate me, and then you tell me the same story, like, almost like just, almost like a repetition, like, Mm -hmm. constantly, like, repeating yourself. Like, I heard the story the first time. But I also don't do well with authority, and I feel like that's why. <laughs> like, you know, I actually, I, I feel I... like when people are constantly telling me something of the same thing, I'm like, just sit. This, like, no, 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 thank you. <laughs> Heard you I... the first time. Don't need to hear you again. <laughs> I can actually agree with that. I feel like that's definitely one of my pet peeves. I wouldn't say my biggest, but. Danny has to face that every day. I was going to say, you s- tell me the I same am, story. I'm a very, uh, I repeat stories very often. But I can't tell him to shut up. So I just listen <laughs> and act like I've never heard that story in my life. That's what I do when my <laughs> friends do it to me. I do the same thing. I'm like, oh my God, no, no, really. Did that happen? Oh my God. Yeah. And when they're like, oh, you'll never guess what happened <laughs> after that. And I'm like, oh, I don't know. He called. And they're like, how'd you know? Like, I don't know. I just went Lucky with a guess. wild guess. Yep. <laughs> All right, Danny, what would you say your biggest pet peeve is? Oh, Chris. Uh, well, like in general? So, yeah, your biggest pet peeve. Ooh, Chris, I don't I don't know yet. Like, why don't you tell me yours? Mm. And I'll narrow See, it down. See, I've had the question for a couple of days now, and I have I not know. really thought about the answer. Uh. I'd have to say my biggest pet peeve is, uh, hmm. we'll have to reroute to that one. No, I have mine. You got yours? Yep, I have mine now, because I just looked at my dog. Um, My biggest pet peeve is when I'm sleeping, because I'm a very light sleeper, anyone gets out of the bed and it's not me, I am frust Like, that is, like, irritating to me, because I can feel or hear everything in my dog. Sam, in particular, mm. likes to jump off the bed 50 times, and I am awake the whole time. That is my biggest pet peeve. Sammy. <laughs> All right, Chris. Yeah. Uh, all right, so I actually do. I know what mine is. My biggest pet peeve is paying for shipping. We are in... <laughs> it's No, I'm being real. It's 2020, <laughs> all right? Why the fuck is anybody paying for shipping? Why is there any app that makes you pay for shipping? Okay, Chris, since you want to bring that up, um, whenever you ship things to people, you make them pay for shipping. I know, because <laughs> I'm not going to pay for it. <laughs> She's right. All right, so I use this app called Macari yeah. where I sell shit, and any of the things that I sell, I make the person who's buying it pay for the shipping. Which I don't blame them, but you're just complaining about yeah, oh, no, shipping, no, no, no. but you make don't, people. I don't like paying for shipping. I guess that is pretty annoying paying for shipping. All right, so yeah. Well, uh, for shipping, you know what you could always do is, I mean, it's a wicked pain uh, to pay for shipping. I mean, for me personally, I, (laughs) my husband doesn't like this, but if 
I'm on a website and I'm buying something and it says like, oh, no, over 75 no. and you get free shipping. That's a rip I got to make it to that 75. I need that. <laughs> like, I can't stand to pay for postage. If, if all you're doing like, is buying a CD, all right, and then uh, you notice that if you go over $125, you can get free shipping. Just pay the $4 in shipping because you just spent $90 you didn't need to spend. Well, it gives me a good excuse. Usually, um, if I'm online shopping, it's for, like, clothes and stuff. So, it just gives me more excuse to get more clothes. <laughs> so, uh, guess what Danny let me buy today? Oh, boy. What'd you buy? Selena Gomez's new CD, but it's signed by her. Yeah, the rare whatever. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how you feel about Selena Gomez, but I think this is her I pretty, like her. pretty good comeback album. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's better After than Yummy. After hearing that first song, I think it's going to be a really good comeback album. Well, her, Danny and I listened to a song called Ring that people felt might have been about Justin Bieber. I'm not catching it, but uh, it's a good song. Yeah. Other than MGK, what are you currently listening to? Um. I feel like I listen to so many different things, but um, I feel like after Why Are You Here and after seeing him perform that scumbag song, the that Goody, Goody Grace. Grace. Since I'm doing all this post-production, uh, as you would, right there, I wanted to say Jinx because both Danny and Kara had said Goody Grace at the same time. So, Jinx, motherfuckers. Um, I've been playing him a lot. Um, and, oh my god, it's like a wicked guilty pleasure. The Yummy Song by Justin Bieber. Oh god. <laughs> oh my god, that thing is stuck in my head. All day. I, I don't Every hate that I song. Eat something, all I can think of is like the yummy yum or whatever, <laughs> however. It's Danny hates that song with a I, passion. It's not that I hate it. It's like it's stuck in your head, and all he all he's saying is yummy, like yum yum yum. I mean, it gets right. Uh, I it's do like feel under my, in my head. I feel like it's so disrespectful how he put it out because like he put it out the same fucking day. That Selena Gomez announces she's a you know releasing this album type shit. So I feel like that's kind of a smack in the face. Yeah, I don't know. I don't care. Yeah, that people I like definitely him. think that was an on purpose thing. Like I think he purposely did that. But at the same time, I wonder if the reason why he did that was because she dropped that song "Lose You to Love Me," and then that whole. Drama fest went down with um, Haley Baldwin, or Haley Bieber now, <laughs> but she was like, I don't condone women against women and all that other shenanigans, so I wonder if he did that on purpose. What? what Why you, you hit me. What do you think? I mean, I don't. I think he strategically did it. I mean, they every time one of those people like put out either a song or an album, that whole relationship comes back to life and like it's just annoying in my eyes. Like, okay, they've been like not together forever and he's married, whatever, but I feel like that's when they get the most um, you know, like recognition because one of them puts out a song, so the other one has to hurry up and put out a song so they get all that recognition, you know what I mean, Chris? Like Yeah. Those views. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. almost like clout. Yeah. Uh, like they're cloud chasing each other. Yep. Uh, <laughs> all right. All right. Uh, so Danny, I don't. I know you know Danny hates that word, clout. <laughs> uh, so, all right, this, this week we've decided that we're going to start something called uh, the most thirsty MGK post of the week, okay? Mm-hmm. Have you seen any that you would call the most thirsty? I don't know. I feel like I see them a lot, but I have to say probably my favorite. And this girl seems to get a lot of shenanigans, we'll say, thrown at her on, like, Instagram. I haven't really seen – I've seen the picture of it on Twitter, but mostly on Instagram. 
this one of these girls on Instagram, her name's like Vivian, I think. And she went to a concert back in, I don't know, last year, I think. I forget when it was. And she brought a sign that said, um, murder my lady area with your machine gun. <laughs> which Since I'm editing so much, you guys are going to hear a lot of these cut-ins that like... You're like, fuck, what the fuck? This doesn't sound like she was fantasying her sentence. Uh, thank you for keeping it uh, rated R and not going into mature X-rated. I, that was a bold poster to make, but I mean, kudos. That was, that was, that really got your point across. Yeah. Holy I fuck. Was yeah, that. <laughs> yeah, it's all, people have been posting it all over the place. I'm really surprised you haven't seen it. No. Uh, oh my gosh. Well, I, mean, I really don't go looking for them. them. No, I don't look for them, but they just See like it? come across my Twitter. I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> All right. So Jasmine, the girl named Jasmine, I don't know if you know her. Uh, she, she said some, she said she didn't post it. But she's going to be the honorary mention for the week. She's going to be the one that we use. Uh, so she said, <laughs> it's so cold outside that I want to, what did she say? I want to huddle up and get warm next to MGK's balls or pretty much some shit yeah. like that. I was like, what the fuck? We, uh, we actually downloaded this beat. That's not really a beat. It's... <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, somebody pouring a glass of water, and that's what we're going to use for the most thirsty post of the week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah, yeah, I feel like I see like a lot of them in passing. Yeah. But some of them can be really good, and then there are some that are like... Oh, yeah. That... You could have deleted that. That would have so, been So, all right. <laughs> so, from now on, anytime we request, we're requesting that people save these and send them to us because we don't, we're not, we're not on Twitter as much as people think. I just happen to post a lot and then like hop off. I'm on Twitter. I'm the one that tells Chris some of these. I'm like, Chris, did you see that? <laughs> now for the most thirsty MGK post of the week. All right, guys, I'm going to be the lucky person to read this tweet. So this was tweeted by Tiffy, EST for life, from January 13th. All right, Tiffy, since you already knew we were going to kind of like be looking for these, I'm sorry in advance. But here is the tweet. So if Kels ever got hurt around me, I'd say fuck a Band-Aid and just go straight to drinking his blood. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> that is disgusting. Oh my God. <laughs> Sorry, but, Tiffy. I mean, she was thirsty. She wanted a drink of the blood. <laughs> that I I saw that the other day and I'm like, Chris, and that's when I think we kinda had the yeah, idea. Yeah, I think I uh, I do believe Tiffy inspired the yeah, thought. Yeah, Tiffy, of, you do inspire a lot of our <laughs> So like uh so Chris D'Elia on his podcast, he has what's called the most fucked up Instagram post of the week. And Danny is like, dude, some of these people is thirsty. We should just make a segment called the most thirsty post. And sure as shit, Tiffy, you created it. <laughs> <laughs> Not just Tiffy, though. We've seen a lot worse. She got some pretty thirsty ones, though. Yeah. What about you, Kara? I feel like I say some pretty thirsty things, but I don't post them. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, uh, there's often times that I want to post on there like, man, that bottle of Monster sure looks good. Yeah. <laughs> Cause I'm thirsty. Yeah. <laughs> you need to uh, stop. No. Yeah. Uh, so MGK announced something today. Uh, does everybody know what he announced? Yeah. What he announced, Danny? His new uh, album title. What is it going to be called? Tickets to My Downfall. All right. So, what are your thoughts? I mean, I'm um, ready for it. I feel like he's writing it about my life. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah? Yeah, he just follows her around and writes about her life. <laughs> hey, that's all right. No, these are my, these are my notes, He's like, Chris. look at this train wreck just, just <laughs> walking around. Let me just 
follow Everything her around. Everything that and... is going on, I'm just going to make a song out of it. Well, Other on, people have to feel out. that way. I think I could actually play it. What's it called? Take us to my downfall. What's it called? Take us to my, my downfall. downfall. <laughs> What's it called? Take us to my downfall. Just What's keeps repeating, Jesus. All right, uh, MGK, do not, uh, or Zane Lowe, don't come at me because I don't have any money. Yeah. <laughs> you got any topics there, Kara? Or are you just like here for the ride? Mm, I don't know. Oh, well, we have another special guest. Kelly oh. just came out looking for her Reese's. Hey. <laughs> hey. Hello. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you enjoy your Reese's. Yeah. <laughs> Do you like Snickers um, or Reese's better? Oh, Reese's. All the way. There was no All question way. about it. Like, no. That was an instant. I like Reese's too. <laughs> All right. How old are you? How old are you, Kenley? I'm 11. What did you, uh, what'd you think of the MGK show last month? Uh, I love it. You weren't the only one. <laughs> no, my wife was going crazy. Mm-hmm. She's probably as tall as you, so you guys might have been Stop. able to see the same amount. <laughs> no school tomorrow. Why is there uh, no school tomorrow? Well, we have a family function to go to, so oh, a special I'm one. letting her skip the day. Hey, that's all right. I whenever Once I told my mom I was sick. <laughs> <laughs> what would you say? I said whenever I told my mom I was sick, I didn't go. And that was that. <laughs> that doesn't work for me. I tried. Aww. It never worked. It's probably, harder. it's probably best that you go to school. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I went to school. I graduated. Work, like, I just didn't What grade like is an 11 year old in? What grade is that? Fifth or sixth. Oh. Oh, I was gonna say fifth four. or I'm sixth. All right. Uh, and say you're four. in sixth. All right. And fifth. Fifth. Well, you're uh, yeah. you're on our podcast. I think this is your second time being on my podcast, or maybe she wasn't on it before. Oh. The first. I think when I was on it before, we were talking about like the meet and greets and yep. everything. Yeah. So I think we were just talking about her a lot. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. You're on a podcast that probably most of your friends will never be allowed to hear because of how bad it is. <laughs> it's not that bad. We just <laughs> don't talk friendly. Right. Oh, that's okay. I I so, have the worst mouth. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of music do you listen to, Kenley? Other than Machine Gun Kelly, what do you listen to? Melanie Martinez, or, um, is that like a TikTok person? Yeah, I have no idea who that is. I was going to say, I have no idea who that is. Um, or also, um, what's his name, Black Bear? Oh, Oh, what? That's my dude. (laughs) You ever seen Black Bear? No, dad. (laughs) I think he might even be worse than MGK, so I don't know. I think his shows might be... Very, very surprising. Mm. Like, that really surprises me. Like, MGK always, like, goes to, like, that kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, what is it? I feel like all the new songs lately, I feel like, I feel like everything is on TikTok. Yeah. I, uh, well, I actually did see the I Think I'm Okay on TikTok. Uh, Death in My Pockets on TikTok. Death in My Pocket. Oh, also, bad things is also on TikTok. What about the? Yep. There's a popular yeah, TikTok. TikTok where the girl is. It's one of MGK's songs, and she says she's crying, and she goes, uh, "I don't get it. All these people are talking about trying how they're trying to get through something. Just go around it. Just go around it. <laughs> oh my gosh. I, I want to make TikToks. I think they're funny. We are not doing TikToks. I. Oh my I, I have. Let's see how many TikToks I actually have. Oh, God. Oh, I have... Ready? Ready? This is going to surprise my mother so much. 4,054. What? what do you do in life? <laughs> That's a lot of TikToks. <laughs> Are you going to school? 
I know. Like, is she for sure should go to school? I feel like I <laughs> maybe well, I started when I was in second grade. Oh, I started when I was. Kimberly, in that doesn't matter. And so I like, guess why I'm so much. Like, what do you do all day? I literally have you in in an activity every day. Like, where do you have the time? So, just so you know, she's in fifth grade right now. She's been doing it since uh-huh. second grade, which is a- uh-huh. at least two videos a day. Yeah, that's crazy. No, like seven. Oh, my God. No more than that. I what the? Like f- at least, no. at least right. either 20 videos a day. Kimberly, oh my gosh. <laughs> need help. You need help. <laughs> Intervention for TikToks coming soon. No. And or if you have been doing this since second grade, why have you not? Where is my kickback? Like, where? How are you not sponsored? How? Like, <laughs> Where's where is my this, kickback? Where is? Where's the extra income coming? <laughs> that, that, exactly. That's what I would like to know. All these people are getting real famous off of TikTok. Yeah, what tell. Tell all your friends to go subscribe to our podcast. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, recruit. I'm gonna start hustling. Start getting. I'm Hustly gonna start getting all kids. kinds of little kids. <laughs> then I'm gonna have the FBI <laughs> looking at me. <laughs> Stop, Mr. Kelly. <laughs> You're not. Are you on speakerphone still? Yeah. Yeah. See, something happened because now it's not picking up anything from. Man, I don't even know if we're recording right now. What if I just wasted the last 45 minutes? We're recording. Don't. You keep making me look over there, and I, know. I keep cutting in and out. I know. All right, so uh, what do you think of Cardi B? <laughs> I love her. So do I. So did you hear her whole <laughs> spiel about Mom going to the government? I have to say, Cardi B is a boss bitch. I like, agree with he, that. Who are we talking he, about? <laughs> Cardi B. Cardi B. Cardi B. Oh. That's even better than what she called. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh right. That's awesome. So yes, she is a bad bitch. I did, what did you hear about her wanting to go to school to per- start pursuing a political career? I did. I feel like it. I mean, I think it's good. Like better yourself, as if you don't already have, you know, everything. I feel right, uh, well, but. I think she has a really good platform. She really, some of those videos that she's uploaded of her ranting about like the health care and all that. Oh yeah, because she has like a TikTok or something like that. I definitely think she has a point. Like I do think she has a point. I do think that. She follows Bernie Sanders and his agenda is pretty much like, in his eyes, we are like the worst first world country. And I agree. Yeah. Well, there, I mean, we have our ups and downs. (laughs) <laughs> we, uh, Danny and I aren't too versed when it comes to politics, so we're trying to uh, read more into it before we have like. I just thought opinions. it was funny because when I told Chris I wanted to get more involved in politics, Cardi B decides she's gonna be involved in part well, politics. All right, so, so I feel like she's like stalking how do you me. Guys, what how a copycat that Cardi B. I know. I feel like she like <laughs> was stalking me or something. She's like, how, I'm gonna do it too. <laughs> how do we feel about her getting hated on by the social medias and everybody? Everybody's like thinking it's a joke that she's not smart enough to pursue this. I don't think she's not smart enough. I feel like, well, you know, sh- the reason she's so famous is because she has to. Like appease to people that would listen to her music and the way she talks and texts, you get more of a reaction to the way she says things. I feel like she's a lot smarter than she puts herself out to be. I just, Mm -hmm. I mean, I've, I don't know if our governor, she said local politics at first. So, yeah. So what's that like, city mayor? Yeah, no, not just mayor, like um, trustees and stuff like that. I just, I don't know. If you want to bet, I definitely think I definitely agree with you, Dan. I think that she plays or she sticks to a certain role because that's what people expect of her, right? But that's also like Kim Kardashian. She's in law school. She's doing all this prison reform and all this other stuff. I mean, crazy amounts of like good, and she's in law school and changing the world like one book at a time or right. whatever that saying is. But I think that i think that right now it's celebrities definitely have the best platform to reach out to everybody and say okay well 
Because everybody, I feel, listens to, if you don't pop your head to Cardi B, then something's not there. Right. Then you're probably fucking with Trump. <laughs> <laughs> like, I just, I, I, I mean, I love her. Yeah. Do, does everybody in this conversation know who Little Dicky is? <gasps> oh, my God. <laughs> I guess yeah. she does. Okay. Well, Little Dicky, uh, he teased about a year and a half ago that he was going to get a TV series, uh, and it just got greenlit. He will have a TV show coming to FX called Dave, and it will be here, I think, in like two weeks, I want to say, uh, March 4th, so a little uh, longer than two weeks. Oh, really? About his life, or? I think it is going to be like a brief introduction to who he really is in real life, yeah. Well, that'd be exciting. That would be? Oh, I would love that. I would watch that on repeat. I feel, I find like a lot of people, I don't know, like, it, like, Cardi B, you think of like one thing for her, but really she does, you know. She's just a very different person in real life. Like, Little Dicky, sometimes all I can think of him is, like, the Trojan commercials or, you know, the Freaky Friday song or, like, a lot of his old school stuff, too. Like, I feel like he's downplayed a lot Mm -hmm. and he doesn't get a lot of light. I feel like people just by his name think kind of, like, of a joke. But he's really not. He's actually very, very talented. But he is that type of person, like, he just has that vibe that, like, you want to hang out with him. <laughs> right. No, I, uh, Danny and I have liked Little Dicky for a long time. Mm-hmm. Uh, he has a song called Lemmy Freak. <laughs> and I, <laughs> uh, that used to be, like, the fucking, uh, the theme song for every date night. <laughs> yeah, that's annoying. I mean, it's a good song, but it was annoying. All right, so uh, there is. I wanted to make. I wanted to put this out there for anybody listening. There is a 104 year old Marine retire. Uh, he's a major. Uh, he retired from the Marines. He's the oldest living Marine. Okay. He has requested that everybody who is listening or who can who cares to send him a Valentine's Day card this year. I think Danny and I are going to definitely send him one. Well, we're uh, not thinking. We're going to send Yeah, yeah, one. we're going to go pick it up actually after this <laughs> podcast. Uh, and we're going to send it out first thing tomorrow. Uh, if you guys want to, just Google 104-year-old Marine wants Valentine's Day cards. And you'll get an address to send him. I just... Old people... They get me. Yep. I, my, I, just, I, uh, I have a soft spot for them. Like, I don't know. And old people love to talk to me for some reason. Every time I go out to do something, they just randomly come up and talk to me. So today we were antiquing and this little old lady comes up to me and says, all the stuff I gave away, like just trying to start up a conversation about uh, how much money she could make just selling her stuff she used to own as a child. So I love old people. They're just fun to talk to. What about you, Chris? I hate old people. Oh, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm joking. I love old people. Old people are... uh, Except for, like, the nasty ones. Oh, I know. There are some... You know, like, I, I take care of a lot I, of mean Danny people. and I were talking about old dudes today. And, like, <laughs> the first thing I told her... I feel like most old dudes are pedos. <laughs> Stop, Chris. <laughs> They are not pedos. Stop. I'll take that back. I'll take that back. There is a certain age, though, that dudes do, like, the older they get, they get freaking on a creepy level. Yep. Yeah, so I uh, I made a deal with God. I'm not going to make it past 57 years old. Stop and it. <laughs> <laughs> you are, too, going to make it past 57. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> Uh, no, all right, so, uh, oh. I feel like every guy says that. I know, like, like they're not going to live past 60. Every ever spoken to has always, and my, my husband says the same thing, if I'm here past 75, just shoot me in the, <laughs> no, that's like nothing nowadays. I mean, granted, I cried turning 30, but like, <laughs> 75 isn't even, I know people who are 75 that 
you would never in a million years think that they were 75. Right. They got more energy than I do. No, oh, yeah, there's... So I'm like, you're not... <laughs> I agree. It's not, like, that bad. <laughs> what else you got, Danny? Um, well, we were talking about it, uh, what, a week or so ago? Nope. Yes, we were. So, <laughs> the U officially announced that they're going to have a season three, which we kind of already knew uh, about, but they... Duh. Well, they announced it to... Well, yesterday, technically. I think it was yesterday. But I am excited. Yeah, you, season three. Oh, Good Girl season three is coming on February 18th. Which I'm excited about, too. Yeah, dude, super fun. Oh, and April 18th, everybody listening, mark your calendars. Record day. Record, oh, yeah. record store day is April 18th, and it's going to be pretty fucking cool. Yeah, Chris is all excited about that. I like the vinyl records. <laughs> yeah. I need a new record player, though, so if anybody listening wants to send one, I will gladly no. give... No. Danny, stop. <laughs> See, every time I ask for free shit, she tells me no. You are not getting free look, stuff. Look, if everybody else can, no, so can well, I. We are not asking for free stuff. Look, fine. <laughs> then I'll just post my gas bill on Twitter. No, I'm joking. <laughs> oh, my I'm God, joking. Chris, stop. <laughs> I'm joking. I feel like that's one of those, if I get 15,000 likes on this tweet... Can I get a new record player? <laughs> if I get one dollar for every like, <laughs> oh stop! What do you got? That's what do you got, my, Kara? You got any? You got any? Uh, any interesting topics from Boston? Um, I'm trying to think of what's been going on. Well, I, you know what I don't um, like about Massachusetts now, since we're talking about Boston. I don't like those. Rude. Well, <laughs> yes, they are wicked rude. Wicked. I big. don't like their roundabouts. Like, why is it that you guys have all those roundabouts? Um, like getting off like the traffic so, circles. <laughs> those are so like we annoying. Them, <laughs> we call them rotaries. Rotaries. <laughs> um, and honestly, I don't know. I, I feel like every state that I've been to, nobody ha nobody has as many as we no. do. I almost feel like it's just Massachusetts like way of saying like, hey, if we weren't rude enough, here's another pain in the ass. I know getting on one of those things and so like, how many lanes are there? Well, I the most I've seen were like two because my sister used to live in Massachusetts. She, um, her husband was, is in the Marines, so they travel all throughout. So I went to visit her in Massachusetts, and it was so sketchy. Like you had to drive like an asshole to like get anywhere. Like people would cut right in front of you if you had like an inch of space. They're getting in there, and she would drive like the craziest person because if you didn't, the other person will freaking cut you right off. And it like you had. To be like that. All right. So uh, today in the car. Yeah, we're a very, we are a very aggressive. Either gotta push in or get out. Right. Because <laughs> if you're, if you're like merging onto our highways, that one nobody really likes to let you get on. Mm -mm. But then you have a bunch of people behind you who uh, are like, like go you forward. So if you're not quick about it it turns into it it's honestly it's very it's very scary to learn how to drive <laughs> in Massachusetts because it's a you see like your parents doing it growing up and you're like oh my god you have such road rage <laughs> but then when you're doing it yourself you're like just we're gonna just hope for the best and just get right on in there yeah <laughs> I mean I've seen some accidents, and I was only there for like a week. I'm like, Jesus. <laughs> okay. All right. So, earlier in the car today, Danny told me that I give her PTSD while driving. That I have made her driving. Like, she's so anxious in the car with me. She hates my driving. I don't believe it's me now. I believe, I, uh, if I do recall, I think it is the week in Massachusetts you had. I, I don't think so. So... We can now blame your sister and stop, no, stop blaming me. I don't think my sister handled that very well. But no. So what is uh what is what is the number one song on the radio where you're living right now? Um 
to think. I don't know. I you know what? I really don't listen to the radio that much. As soon as I get in the car, uh, for the most part, I put on like my Bluetooth to listen to like yep. my Apple Music. Yo, does your husband but... have a badass accent? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is he around? Chris. Um, he might not be somewhere. He's probably sleeping. Actually, let him sleep. <laughs> Go wake him up and no. just tell him, hey, uh, man, no, say don't. park the car. <laughs> no, do not wake him up. No, it's it's probably just as thick as mine. <laughs> I mean, geez, you guys would love the, uh, my my whole family talks. I mean, we're all really. Your daughter didn't seem to have like an we accent. Don't hear it. We don't like we don't we don't hear the accent until somebody else brings it up. Uh, so did like, you did okay, you drive to Cleveland? We talking... Yeah. How um, long did that take? Um, it was probably about nine hours, maybe ten because we stopped a lot. Mm-hmm. But it was probably about ten hours. Did you drive home the same night, or did you get a hotel? No, we stayed the weekend, and then we drove home Sunday. That yeah. sounds fun. Well, I'm only asking to compare the road. Like, did you think our your roads are worse than ours? Like, did you think the traffic was worse? Did, how did you feel about Cleveland as opposed to where you're at? Um, it honestly is kind of, um, I feel like when we, so when we go to Cleveland, like when we head out, we usually leave about two, three o'clock in the morning. So then mm-hmm. that way we beat the traffic here because. I hear your accent. Kimley, sorry. Get off my case, man. What she just picked off. She heard your, her accent. <laughs> <laughs> um, she really ain't going to school. <laughs> <laughs> traffic here, it's very. You hit that either way. A lot of people will think you go like when it's only when you're going into the city, and it's not. It. Li- I've sat in traffic in both ways. Oh God, it's the most atrocious thing ever. Oh, it like I just I hate driving at certain times. Is, mm-hmm. What is your favorite part of sitting in traffic? <laughs> Literally. Not a single thing, except for like, although I won't even say that because it's definitely when <laughs> it depends on if I'm by myself or not. Because if it's by, if I'm by myself, I'm bumping like my music. So I got like Tupac, I got Biggie, I got MGK, I got Tupac, Instinct, Backstreet Boys. Get the fuck out of here! MWZ, <laughs> I have. All for one. I have like a whole range of music. All right, you could stop talking uh, now. <laughs> <laughs> you don't like so, the NSYNC? I swear you liked NSYNC, Chris. Danny? No, you did. You, you know what? I'm done. We're done with this episode. No, we're not. Because someone, <laughs> his, wasn't your first CD? An NSYNC? My first CD, CD actually, the very first CD, well, actually, right. so the first CD I ever owned was Faith Hill. Oh, God. Was, That's uh, even worse. It was the one that had Breathe on it. And then the very first CD I ever got to buy was NSYNC's Bye, Bye, Bye. <laughs> or No Strings Attached. Great oh. album. I mean, I don't think you should feel guilty about that at all. That Fuck is, no, dude. Fuck no. Album. All right. So we're looking at about an hour long episode now. Uh, with that being said, we always go into what is called Today I Learned. Duh. Since your daughter's awake, you can both participate. I want to hear a today I learned from both of you. Okay. Uh, do you want to go first? Yes, she no, does. You go first. I need to think this over because I wasn't really paying attention. So, <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Was TikTok, you know, hyped up right now? Oh, they probably are. Today I learned that Kinley has way too much time on TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> I learned that mom got an accent. Yeah. She literally, can we talk every day? Yeah, I know. <laughs> All right, Chris, what's your today, um, I learned? Oh, 
Oh, I thought she said hers. Oh, go no, ahead. No, no, yeah, we want some serious today. I learned. <laughs> oh, today I learned. You go first. <laughs> no, I, I'm honestly concerned to hear what you. <laughs> you go first. You go first because I can't think of anything. Or just go. Just, just go. Time. Keep going. Or just go. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like me telling you, just go, Chris. Yeah, go ahead, Chris. You go. Just go. <laughs> All right, I'll go. Uh, today I learned of Jane Toppin, a serial killer nurse who confessed to killing 31 people. Was she, it with insulin? She was caught in 1901. She would poison her patients. Then she would lay with them and hold them close the? as they had died. She also fondled them as they died. Oh, my God. She even poisoned herself to evoke the sympathy of men she was courting. Mm. Courting is a word for what? hooking up with. Wow. That's crazy. I mean. And since my wife is a nurse, I was <laughs> wondering how many people have you poisoned? I have not poisoned anyone. Yeah, because it's not 1901. But if it was 1901, how many people would you poison? None. Why Why would you be a nurse? That's one thing. Like, I became a nurse to help people. I don't, I'm not that, like, oh, crazy. You know, I, like, th we'll put this out there for everybody else. Uh, what is that? Isn't there, like, uh, what, Nurse Nightingale? Yeah. Uh, she was promiscuous, correct? Yes, Chris. What is that? She a hoe. She was a hoe. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, my today I learned isn't about creepy people. So today I learned nonviolent attempts to escape Mexican prisons are not punished because it's a human nature to want freedom. Say again? They're allowed to, well, they're not allowed to escape. If they try to escape and they get caught or whatever, they don't get extra time. So what if they get out? What if they escape and They'll, they make it. Are they free to go? No. They have to go. I mean, whoever catches them, they're going back, but they won't get charged. All right. All right. Uh, so with that being said, let's go to prison in Mexico. Yeah. If we had a choice. Uh, can I go to the Mexican prison, please? <laughs> All right. Kenley and Kara, what do you got? Wait, does this have to be about what, what you guys are talking about? Or no. Nope. Anything at all. Anything oh, at all. Um, uh, that social studies is super hard. <laughs> yeah. What'd she say? Social, social studies science. is super hard. Social studies is super hard. What else? Yeah. In no. science. In oh. science. Oh, that, yeah. that, um, what's it called? Uh, I think Mercury? Mercury. <laughs> I don't remember. There's one little planet that's actually really tiny compared to the sun. It's, like, it's the closest to the sun. Oh. Which one's closest to the sun? Mercury. Is it Mercury? I think it's Mercury. Did you you ever heard of Mercury in retrograde? It's Mercury. Something with an M or something. It's Mercury. It's Mercury. It's Mercury. Mirth. You know, I didn't like social studies either. And not until that was like Civil my War. One good oh, maybe it was Mupiter. Is it Mupiter? Christopher, I I liked once I got into high school. They I enjoyed like uh, Civil War was a class we did, so I was in that and AP social studies I did. But when I was first started, I hated it. I don't know. You're living history every day. Mm hmm. It's an old quote that I just made up. All right, Chris. It's not old at all. <laughs> all right well with that being said let's go ahead and tell every oh you know what we forgot to do our uh hmm shit what's that uh if anybody has anything that they want to email us send it oh. to wtf dave and chris at gmail.com why dave and chris danny because we still like dave all right now with that being said go ahead and say goodbye everybody bye. Bye. <laughs> i said bye. bye did you guys say bye they said bye, too. Yeah. All right. I'll talk to you guys later. Uh, thank you for coming on. Yes, thank you. Thank you for having, well, me and the McKinley <laughs> crash. No, bye. yeah, dude. No doubt. I love learning about the 4,589 TikTok videos. That was yes. awesome. 
<laughs> yeah, that, I, I think I'm going to have to take away your phone. That's no, honestly please. disturbing. Please, 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 please. All right, no, you guys have a good night. Yeah, have we, a good uh, night. We definitely enjoyed this one. Talk to you guys later, all right? Bye. Talk to you later. Bye. Bye. <laughs> no, all right. All right, so everybody said goodbye. Uh, oh, you heard that? As you could tell, that was me, Danny, Kara, Kenley. Uh, we were talking on Weekly Talk, episode 25. Uh, oh, hey! What? Before we get off, uh, earlier, Danny and I took a nap. Yep. As we were taking a nap, I was laying down and I was thinking, you know, my mind races, and I was thinking, why is it called a double U when it looks like a double V? I don't know, Chris. Think about it. Think about it. Double VTF. Danny and Chris, motherfuckers. Uh, one more thing. We were driving in Youngstown, Ohio today. Oh, yeah. And Danny bitches about my driving all the time. Mm -hmm. uh, as actually, I tried to blame her sister for her anxiety, as you heard. And there was this car ahead of us who, like, just really could not maintain their lane. Like, worse than I. <laughs> okay? And Danny looked up and she's like, Will this motherfucker just get in your fucking lane? I sure as shit, as soon as she finished saying that sentence, this motherfucker <laughs> straightened out and got in their lane. I told them to get in their lane. I didn't say will they. I said, will you get in your lane? And that and is, they yeah, did. That's, that's pretty much what yeah. happened. Uh, I must have yelled at them pretty loud. It was fun, guys. Uh, I enjoyed this episode. That was our very first. Well, I guess it wasn't our first feature because the bonus did have... Dolsk yeah. and Dunk. But that was our first co-hosted episode of 2020. We're looking forward to doing more. It was a little wonky. Uh, kind of hard to maintain communication. Uh, but I think we're getting better with it. But it was wicked. It was wicked. It was wicked. <laughs> wow. Dude, you sounded just like her. There were All right, Kara. There were parts where like you would talk and Danny and I would just look at each other and just like, oh my God. Yeah. How adorable. I can't do it. No. I can't. Did you get? Did you guys park the car? Parking the car over at the park. Come on, Chris. with the car. As always, it's been WTF. Danny and Chris. All right. Uh, go ahead and leave us a voice message at eight five nine four 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 six four one. Definitely you, Jackson. We want to get to know you. Uh, email us at the after uh, the previously mentioned email address. Leave us some five star iTunes reviews and tell people to listen to us. Yeah. <laughs>